Hi, my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is Theories About Stars and Galaxies. So there's, I'm going to mention a few very famous theories that you've heard of. And there's a lot of other theories and a lot of them branch out from the theories that I'm going to talk about. Um, so the first one that I want to talk about is uh, the gravitational instability. And this one has to do with the formation of galaxies. We theorize that the galaxies are formed by this um, density formations and they collapse under their own gravity. So this is gravitational instability. The second one that I want to talk about and is the one that most people know is the Big Bang. And this is how everything was formed. And the Big Bang is that everything was at the center it was everything, everything that we know, space and time, was collapsed into a tiny space. And it has been expanding since the beginning of time. And then the other one is steady state. And this is, the, this is for historical purposes. It's been proven wrong. And this was a contestant for the Big Bang for a long time. A steady state means that we started from expansion and we've always been expanding. So there is no beginning, there is no ending. It's been steady throughout. Um, the other one that I want to talk about is the Big Crunch. The Big Crunch is important. There's a lot of things that come from the universe that are paired with the Big Bang and the Big Crunch. The Big Crunch is kind of the opposite thing of the Big Bang. So the Big Bang explains the beginning and the Big Crunch explain, explains the end. So it says that, yeah, we start with the Big Bang and we've been expanding and then we're going to collapse. Um, so the universe will eventually stop expanding and fall under its own gravity and become the biggest black hole. And then the other theory I want to talk about is the oscillating universe. And this one is becoming quite popular. And this is a mix between the Big Bang and the Big Crunch. But instead of the Big Crunch ending with a black hole, it means that it will repeat itself over and over again. So you start with a Big Bang, then you have the Big Crunch, and instead of becoming a black hole, you go back to being the Big Bang. And this can go infinite amount of times, and therefore it gets the name of an oscillating universe. Then the other thing that I want to talk about is the solar nebula. And a lot of you are familiar with this one. Uh, solar nebula is the theory of how the planets and the star were formed, so how the solar system began. And then the other one is um, black holes as galaxy centers. So the theory is that there is a massive black hole at the center of the galaxies. Um, actually, there's quite some observations that support that this might be true, especially for our galaxy. And then I want to talk about some of the exotic theories, and this involves string theory and other dimensions. Um, so string theory is a mathematical framework that uh, describes what the cosmos is actually made out of. So think of space almost as like a sheet. It has like a fabric. So there's been a lot of talks about string theories becoming quite popular and it's had a lot of branches. One of them is bosonic. The other one is supersymmetry and that one is very popular. And then the one that I want to talk about next is M-theory. And this one is an extension to string theory. But instead of having the four um, dimensions that we have now with x, y, and z, and then time, we have 11 uh, dimensions. And this is a mathematical necessity to explain the fabric of the cosmos. And these are some of the very popular theories that you're probably hearing about. And these are about stars and galaxies and the universe as a whole. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the theories about stars and galaxies. Mm -hmm.